How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Matt, what went wrong? Uh, I think it, there was a little bit, uh, multiple things that added to it. Definitely that executive power of Vito losing Vivek. Um, he was definitely an ally for myself and Dougie. We should have known right there that maybe Spice wasn't riding with us as much as we thought so. Um, probably we can say a little bit with the showman's probably put a little bit of a target on my back or just the girls thought they were losing Lexus, which they probably were just because I feel like Lexus would have uh, rode with me over them any day. Um, but everything happens for a reason. I was blessed with the opportunity just to be a part of season 12. It was a great experience. So I have no regrets. The women uh, even told you, I believe, that they felt like with you gone, they'll get Lexus back. Uh, do you think that's true? Is she going to go back to them? No, no way. Lexus is loyal. I know she was riding with myself, Tola, and Dougie, and we thought Spicy too, but we saw where Spicy's cards lie, and it wasn't with us. Uh, that was evident after this week. Uh I told Lexus that she doesn't need to get my revenge right away, especially finding out about the five person alliance in Spice's goodbye message uh, with herself, Kayla, Avery, Lexus, and Dougie. Um, it's probably best for Lexus either to let Tola win this week. Obviously, one of them needs to win, but if Tola can get that win and take out two of them, or if Lexus just plays nice for one or two more weeks. There's a couple other people that are probably mutual agreements that they can send home. And then when it's time, I know Lex can pull off the big comp win and then send one or multiple of those girls packing down the road. Did, did you discuss like future plans with, with Lexus and, and Anthony about like what they want to do moving forward? Like if, if Anthony were to win HOH this week, would he target? spicy Kayla Avery or would he maybe look at like uh Todd Bailey uh without myself there are we talking about yeah um let's be honest I don't know if Dougie ever goes for any uh <laughs> HOH or comp win so he's the social game master so he might just leave it uh and let someone else take it however I know those girls have a good power grip on the house right now and they're not willing to or they are willing to take any shot. So Dougie does have to be a little bit more careful uh, than he might ha have had to be in the past weeks. Um, I think Dougie, he has good relationships with everyone in the house. Probably Todd's the only one who doesn't truly trust him. Uh, Bailey, I feel like her and Dougie have some sort of relationship where she would flip and join Dougie and trust him if need be. So I think Dougie's just got to look at the big, big picture, which I know he always does and makes the, and make the best move for him. That's going to take him the furthest. But like I said, uh, it might be a little uncharacteristic for Dougie to go for that HOH win right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, what did you make of Spicy's goodbye message and this, this alliance? Obviously it was five uh, members out of the seven of the directors. So it was just excluding Goose and I. Um, at the beginning, I'm not going to lie. I was taken back a little bit just because, uh, maybe if Lex and Dougie told me I could have used that to flip Bailey and Todd because Bailey probably sees herself in a tighter alliance with the girls. But if she knows there's a final five without her, I think she would have been willing to make a deal, especially as I can provide, um, better physical or endurance, uh, gameplay for her in competitions compared to Goose. However, after being a little bit of time here, uh, I've, it is what it is. I truly believe that Dougie and Lexus both would have chosen me and taken me over any of the three other girls in that alliance and possibly anyone in the house. Um, maybe I'm naive, but they gave me their word. They looked me in the eye, and I truly believe it when they said they were riding with me. Um, I want to talk about last week a little bit because Goose was the HOH and after the veto, he kind of, he came to a realization about what Spicy V was kind of doing to him 
uh, trying to pit him against you. Um, and he told you and Lexus and Anthony as much. Um, but from our perspective, at least, we didn't really get to see a lot of follow up on that. Like, was th were there more conversations with Goose after that? Like, uh, I know you went straight to Spicy with that information. Uh, what happened after that? Um, I think because I truly trusted Spice. Uh, she had proposed a uh, final four with myself, Dougie, and Lexus. And just because I know her relationship with Dougie on the outside of this house, I truly trusted her. Um, I probably should have trusted Goose a little bit more. I know he's a pretty genuine, uh, big-hearted guy. So he probably was telling the truth, even if he had said some misinformation or spread some misinformation earlier on the week. I just feel since the day before, there was a lot of misinformation spread about what I had said. And a lot of the heat and spotlight was shining on me that I use this more so as to kind of put that spotlight elsewhere and for people to see that Goose was spreading misinformation about everyone. Uh, I really trusted Spicy, and I should have known that she's a gamer. She'll do whatever she needs to to win. This is her second time around the block, and I don't doubt it that she probably did say some of those things now going back and especially knowing about the five-person alliance just because, like I said, um, and she even told me this in her campaign that she feels Dougie and Lexus would choose me over her when I was campaigning to her, and she's probably not wrong. I really do think they would have chose me over anyone in the house yeah I, yeah i mean basically you know spicy and, and them were were convincing goose that you were coming after him and then he was just trying to relay the conversations he had with you and then they were kind of twisting that to try to use it as as more sort of fuel to get you out yeah yeah it is what it is i can't go back now so there's no as goose would say there's no point in crying over spilt milk no flipping um, point right no flipping point. I should have known it when he get, when he told the eight flip in a row that he was telling the truth. But uh, like I said, I just felt like I was in the hot seat the day before, and I used mm. it to kind of confirm that what was being said wasn't a hundred percent true, and there's definitely misinformation out there. Uh, for me, I'm a very upfront, loyal, and honest guy. When I give my word, I mean it, and my word is bond. I sometimes it can be a fault where I assume people are going to reciprocate that. I usually kind of give everyone the benefit of the doubt until they do me dirty. It, ju I ju it just took me a little bit too long to figure that out. And now I'm sitting here with you having this conversation, but it is what it is. I can hold my head high. I stayed true to my character. I was loyal and honest. And at the end of the day, I feel like I represented myself, my family and friends well, and I have no regrets. Mm. Uh, talk to me about Lexus. What's what's going on there? What you want to know about Lex? I heard a lot of I heard a lot of loves being thrown out uh, last night on the episode. On the episode, I feel like I told Dougie I love him more than Lex, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I def even said I love you to Lex. Uh, I think I might have told her I have real love for you. It was definitely a hard situation, just because. I told so many people in the house and I truly do. I love them. I got them. Obviously when I say that to Lex, it means a little bit something different. Um, I'm hoping that we can build off the romantic relationship that was blossoming in the house. Uh, I think she would be open to it as well, but right now she needs to focus on the game and do whatever it takes to win. Uh, I think regardless, her and I will have a lifelong relationship, whether that's a friendship or something romantic. Yeah. Uh, tell me what the your your final words uh, to the house. Um, what what was the the intent behind that? Are we talking about when I was leaving from the stairs or my yeah. last when I was? Uh, so I said, talk is cheap. Or inside and out, inside and out of this house, talk is cheap. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Um, all my clients know that's kind of my motto for my brother and I's business, uh, our personal training and active rehab business. Lots of people can say they're going to do something, but actions speak louder than words. So I always tell my clients and I live by this motto, don't talk about it, be about it. And I felt like it was a perfect message just because there's a lot of people saying they're going to do things this week. 
saying that I was safe or saying they had me and not to worry, but uh, actions speak louder to, than words. Loyalty is seen, not said. All right. Well, thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, you're welcome. Pleasure talking to you.